What's up, people? Your boy Antoine from Hot Days of Python today. So today's plan is um, I'm gonna look at some, pretty uh, much some females that should be going like uh, this time of year because I do have some adults that cycle around the fall time frame, like most people's quote unquote breeding season. And then I have some up and coming females that this year will be their first time breeding that are right at the cusp of 1500 grams. I got some uh, that are two years old, three years old, four years old. Um, yeah, so we're going to check about, let me check real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 20, 21 females, actually no, 22, 23 females. Cause, uh, so that way, on the ultrasound machine, I got the big screen up so it'd be easy to see for everybody else. Once we get started, I'm gonna cut the light so the screen is easier to see. But um, I'm gonna show you everything from stuff with um, probably immature females that have no follicles, some that are just building like little pea size ones, like five to six millimeters. I'm gonna show you some girls that's building and probably should be getting paired right now that's between like 18 to 21 millimeters. I'll show you some, um, put some ovulations right now, like the current ovulation. Um, so once it's close to a prelay shed and probably one or two that should be going in the next couple of weeks or so to so actually see the whole progression of follicle sizes if we do this thing right. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's it, man. So uh, all your questions, if you've got questions, hit that super chat below. Uh, we'll make sure we get to them and answer them. So even if it has to do with female growth or how to use the ultrasound machine, the one we're using today is the Contact. You can find it on Amazon for about $1,300. So if you guys have that, if you have any questions specifically you want to go over for that, I will gladly answer them. All right, let's go. First up, we got this uh, pastel blade, double head G-Strike Clown Girl. This should be her first year going, so I'm going to uh, check her out real quick. Try to hit some of these lights so we can see a little bit better. Let me know how the screen looks in a second. Not a little bit better on the screen. Probably a little, a little closer. Yeah, you can get closer. A little bit closer. So. so the ultrasound medium I use is the Aquasonic 100. So a transmission gel. You can get it on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. I got like the real big bucket and it comes with this neat little container right here to make it easier to travel with. So the laptop might delay, so if you look in this screen better to make sure it's focused. Let's see. So I'm about a third of the way down. Trying to find this uh the gold black on this girl. Got some little tiny follicles right there. That pin up on the camera. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Alright, so. Yo, come over here and try to hit freeze from me. Oh, 
all over the damn place, see? That's why you never work with animals. <laughs> I'm not dealing with her right now. I'm moving on to another one. Sick with it. Bearded balls. Matt Summers. Michael Morse. GP. Genomic. These balls. What's happening? Yeah, that little, that little bitch won't stay still. I'm going to try another one. All right, so... So this one is a blackhead head hypo. She should go this year too. If she don't bite my damn face off. You wanna get on this uh, side so you can get freeze for me? Let me turn this this way so you can see. Yeah, for real, man. Don't they say, like, in the in movie industry, never work with kids and animals because then they just fucking make you look like a damn liar? Let's see. And I know these females are empty because uh, I, I didn't feed last week because I was in Timberley, so... So, with her being in shed, right, there's an uh, option you can do on the, um, on the ultrasound. I don't know if you guys have this one or not, but there's a button that's the uh, frequency button, and you can cycle through that, and hold on, it'll change it from 5 hertz to 6.5 hertz to 7 to 8 and to 10, and sometimes if you have issues... Sometimes if you have issues um, getting through the shed or, you know, if she ate some food, sometimes in the probe it'll be harder through them. So, and she's on the young side too, so I know uh, she may or may not be able to go yet. Do you believe copulation promotes follicular growth in females who may not be developing uh, only, say, five millimeters? Yeah, um, even if... 
most of my females, if I have the uh, if I have the age and the weight on them, so if they're over two and um, you know they have like a nice little girth and weight to them, not necessarily uh, 1500 grams because I don't believe in the whole 1500 gram thing because I have a female I went this year that was almost like five years old and she and she could never get past 1200, but she had the size and build to actually produce eggs, but she just wasn't a long snake. So, um, and, you know, and all her eggs hatched, they look great, and there were no problems at all. She's back on food. So, um, I just think you have to have, like, a good proportion. But, yes, I am of the belief that copulation leads to follicular development. So, um, yeah, Dylan, I'm in that team. I'm going to turn this damn heater off. It's freaking hot. Um, let me see. Uh... So, so this girl, um, in 2018, I put a pastel and she had clown to a female head clown at the time was probably like the cheapest one I got. Uh, I bought her for like a hundred dollars when she was like 600 grams and I had no faith in her proving out. She was just super cheap. So I like, you know what, man, it's worth a shot. And out of all the head clowns I bought that year, she was the only one to go and she proved out. So the only female I kept back, though, um, the two clowns didn't make it. There was a regular clown and a pastel clown in the clutch, and they didn't make it out of the egg. So I managed to keep back this girl, this pastel inchy, 66% head clown. And um, she just been real weird, though, man. She's a mouser or asf -er for the most part. So I've been slow growing her for a time, and I think she's about 1,700 grams now. So, And uh, I've also paired her twice with a uh red stripe yellow belly clown so you know just kind of see if i can get her going this year because she's a 2018 so she definitely got the age on her that's right there okay, so. freeze so those all jumbled together on the screen right now and i think um so she's building a little bit I don't know why I do this. So I'm actually using the mouse for this too, not that silly ass track ball. So one here, here. I usually go horizontal and vertical. And then, and that gives them like a good average of what they are. A lot of people go diagonal, which I don't. So she's got about nine millimeter follicles right now. she got one right here, right next to it. And this is probably one behind her on the other overduct right there. So um i'm pretty much gonna pair her anyway i keep pairing her in another month and that'll be the um red stripe yellow belly clown that i put in her hey we got some follicles in this video and it wasn't a total bust first two out the gate some bullshit can i freeze you got any super chats yet i like that sweet uh chris hobbs what's happening all right, this girl right here is a head puzzle. Let's see if you guys can see her. And I've been putting her to the uh, double head sunset puzzle male. And she's a little hissy today, but whatever. I pay the bills around here, bitch, not you.
can probably see her right there. But she's squirmy as hell too. It's like she knows I'm on her follicles. She's like, no, not right there. Send it, bitch. Start putting these snakes in the bags. Miss it? All right, I'm not spending all day on her. We'll go back to that one. We got a lot to get through, and it's hot as hell in here. We got any questions in there yet? Albino Inchi. We got something here. Look at this big one right here. Uh, boom, boom. So they're starting to grow this season. So um, since the male I'm using uh, for this project isn't too overwhelmed this season, and he's pretty much done, I might stick him in there with her tonight. Two, so eight millimeters. At this point in the year, I'll just be happy with actual like follicle growth. Let me see. Uh, what is this? And she. All right, this is a clown possible red strike. that so the girl right here I think she's about 
sixteen fifty right now. And with her, I'm not surprised I don't see anything yet because I think she's still on the young side. But she did lock with my um, enhancer head clown uh, last month. So hopefully she does something. If not, no big deal. I'll just get her a little bit bigger and get her ready for later on next year or whenever. Uh... Forgot about this one, but it's no big deal. Another clown, lesser clown. Hey, if you guys want me to like put the lights on in between snakes so you can see the actual snake, or if you care about that, that's fine. Just let me know. Um, if not, I'll just keep going. Lesser clown, proven breeder. Just do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Go ahead. Run around. Act up. Shit. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. I should have all this. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. Why is everybody 100 miles an hour today? Move. I'm not dealing with her today. She has some small ones in there. Um, I'm going to mess with her like around December or whatever. Come on, Tom. She's just making a mess. All right. Any more questions or no? Let's see, is that one? Uh... So 
this one is the mother to the passed out Inchi Hosset clown. So she's taken like I think two years off for me. For whatever reason. So see what she's got going on with her. Set down a little bit far. About 10.6 average. So, yeah, she's one of those like this time of year girls too. So, sometime like this time next month, she'll have probably like 12 or 13 millimeters. So, I put the hurricane to her. Next is I'm gonna skip around some of these. Um shouldn't have anybody. All right. Orange Ghost Het Clown Girl. She's about 1,700 grams, somewhere around there. So I'm putting her to the uh, Enhancer Het Clown Posset G Stripe. So I can get some visual clowns. That's Double Het Enhancer Orange Ghost. So, and I've already paired her twice. She's got some teeny tiny starter follicles. That's not going to do anything. Right. Right. Yeah. I see them right there. I don't know about freezing them. But, uh, when the follicles are that small, that's just. The only thing I can get from that is going, okay, cool. She's definitely, is definitely a female. <laughs> so, which I already knew, but she's not, huh? Uh, let me see. Uh, she keep on running like, uh, on average, how fast do they go from uh, 10 to 12 millimeters? No, I didn't get to the bongo yeji. Um, it all depends on the snake, man. Like, I've had stuff go from 12 millimeters to damn near uh, 25 millimeters in almost like a three week to a month uh, time frame. 
Uh, just like it all depends on the individual snake itself. So sometimes it's taking like you know a few months, sometimes taking a few weeks, man. It just all depends. Oh, uh, who's next? Da, 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 da. This is. No, I didn't have her on here. I didn't even have her on a list to go, but um, this is one of the girls that, oh, she just shed too, nice, nice fresh shed. So this is one of the girls I was banking on to prove out to uh, the asphalt. This is one of the 50-50 girls I held back two years ago, and I've been putting her to the red stripe yellow belly clown as well. So if she does prove out, I hope I get some red stripe freeways 100% head clown. And then... After that, I can put her to some other cool stuff, some other um, asphalt clown combos, and I mean, some uh, visual clown combos next few years to come, and add asphalt into my uh, multi-gene clown project. So, that is the goal. Should we see what happens? I grabbed that. She is uh, two and a half, I believe. Yeah, I think I hatched her out like spring of um, 2019. Somewhere around here. Try and get some more gel. Go ahead, do your thing, wear yourself out. That wasn't me farting, that was the sound from the uh, tube. <laughs> okay, stay there now. Good. So I catch her as she turns. Measure distance and then to start the clicking. So about 10, ten millimeters. Cool. So and it also tells me too, like oh, uh, even on the young side, when she they would actually start to develop follicles, that just tells me she's also like sexually mature. So you just now you just you know, start. This is the time where I want to get more weight on her, and um, you know, just think about what my parents are going to be. And like I said, I've already paired her one time, once or twice, to the red striped yellow belly clown. So that's some good signs. She got a couple of things going. Uh, unfreeze. Yeah, unfreeze. Next one is. All right, go ahead. Unfreeze. You hit it. Um. Alright, this is the bongo. Big old bongo girl. She's actually owned by Sequited Ball Pythons. Picked her up from uh, Miguel at AEP. And we've been putting her to the um, Red Side Yellow Belly Clown as well. My man's gonna be working this season. My man's is working.
on the TV. Huh? Did how'd you get on the TV? Who said that? Uh, oh, so on the back of the uh, ultrasound, there's a um, what's it, the RG RGA cable, like the same ones you got to your PC that has like the multi pin plug with the screws on the sides. So um, I just use one of those. And this little monitor I have right here, well, it's actually it's actually a television. Um, I bought this TV like a long time ago when I moved here. It actually had one of those connectors on the back, so I just hooked it up to that. I wish there was an HDMI cord on it, but making the screen this big is distorting the screen a whole lot, but we'll get through it. Yep, I don't see nothing on her either. Alright. Uh, let me see. Eggs. Alright. I'll show you in a snake that's actually gravid. If she don't take my damn head off. Oh, hush, hush, calm down. So, pinstripe head desert ghost. Get over there. Chill out, chill out, chill out. I know. I want to be a bitch today. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're ready to freeze. I'm not dealing with her all the damn time. So, these are eggs. See the transition in the humps and how they're pressed up against each other. So I know from this screen, Freeze, I know from this screen that um, from end to end is about 40 millimeters. So I know when I measure that, that's what it's gonna say. And she's doing about three weeks. Let's see, measure this, this, boom. Yeah, so it's still room on the other side, and that's that 38.1. So, yeah, she's going to go. And that would be my last DG clutch of the season. That was a yellow belly desert ghost to the pinstripe head desert ghost. And, uh, yeah, that's the DG stuff. You can re hit reset. See if you've got anything else. All right, y'all, let's get these dang likes up. It's hot as fuck in here. Let me see who's next. Uh, all right. This is a pinstripe super blade clown. expecting anything from her because she's still on the young side but she does have some size on her she's one of my garbage disposals man this girl will eat Her gallbladder went by. Okay, she did have a couple there. That's a gallbladder. Get ready to hit the knees. Oh, missed it again. 
Alright, she had some small ones up there, some small teeny tinies, so that's a good sign too. I'm not gonna stop and find her and freeze that. We be all day messing with these damn these snakes. Hell yeah, Jeremy, that's what's up. Uh, let me see. Where else we at? Alright, so this is one of my mystery girls. So I believe this is a champagne cinnamon. Het red exanthic, uh, possible het pied. So, got the little champagne ringer on her. And I'm putting her to the black pastel pie just to kind of make some eight ball combos and some champagne eight balls and some, uh, maybe some het red exanthic pie combos. Who the hell knows? Or just hit a bunch of all white semi pies and be confused as shit. So, so we'll see. I know there's a lot of people who say they use like a method where they completely submerge the snake in water and all that, but to me that just sounds like messy as shit. Uh, I'm cool on that. Not with my damn snakes are splashing all over the place. like stuff you'll find when they've been uh that they just ate but I think those might be a couple of big flip up that he already did hold on go back She probably has some on the other side too. That was crooked. Little teenies. All of my fall girls are gonna go. And with her, I think I only have um I think with the black pastel pride, I'm only breeding him to her this year, so I'm gonna pretty much let them tie as often as they want. Because he doesn't have a big workload. Actually, I'm thinking about selling him, but we'll see. Uh, let's go with... So, this is a Pied, and she just cut off an ovulation, and I put her to the um, enhancer head clown pos head G stripe. So uh, I got some pos quad heads coming out of her. Which means I got to hold back everything, everything, everything. Cloudy white spots. 
our eggs. They're still jumbled up pretty tight because she's coming down from her ovulation, so egg. Egg. Another egg. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Everybody's got eggs. You gotta know that reference, five points. <laughs> So she got about six or seven in there. Just enough, just enough to piss me off and hit some bad eyes. Uh, let me see. Scroll down. 13 in there. Let's see, who did I miss? There's every time I was gonna get bit today, it's probably gonna be by this bitch. So she might even tag the camera. Let me see if she'll do it. Let me see. You want beat today? Ha! Huh? So this is a red stripe, 66% head pied. I put her to um, the clown pied. So I'm hoping for some red stripe pieds with her. That's a hundo percent head clown. But, you know, we'll see. Calm your ass down. Yeah, yeah. Move, move, move. Yeah, I know. We're going to make this quick and painless. Whoa. Splash right on my face. Pause. <laughs> Chill out. Boom, see that? That's a whole ass egg there. That's why it's so white. So, that's what one that's about to lay should look like on an ultrasound. See the curve? That's two eggs next to each other. And that's enough for her. She is a rat. Y'all not getting me? And I get me bit on camera on live, so I can be like, oh! <laughs> Hell no. She is not my friend. Um, you ready to see Titana Boa? <laughs> Titana Boa. Uh, I might need room for this one. So this is the, I think she's the second largest now in my collection. She's not the longest, but she's just big as hell. So this is a Volta Het Clown girl. I think she's about 5,000 grams, somewhere around there now. I haven't checked her in a long time, but. And she's actually sold to uh, Chris Hobbs over at Hurt Pub. So she's still hanging out here and um, she's still breeding. Let's see if I got anything in there. I think she always carries her stuff low. Get that? So, yeah, her file was always sit low like this no matter what stage they're on. So about, just about 11 millimeters for her. So. so Chris messaged me, let me know what you want to do with her, man. I can either send it to you like this or I can keep pairing her. I don't really care. So, cause if I ever sell stuff that I've been pairing, I mean, if you like, if whenever I, you know, let people know what's going on and they like the breeding, I mean, I'll send her as is with some nice looking, with some nice size follicles in there. 
and then you can make a million dollars off the clutch. I don't care. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That mouse pad, right? For real. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm not this this trackball on here, man, is is super garbage. It's so bad. And you know with the custom mouse pad and all that. But yeah, the trackball on this is is crazy. Like you move this shit and it sometimes acts like it wants to move. It's like an old school Pac-Man uh, trackball. Uh let's see. Forgot about this girl too. So this is my fault. So this is the last single gene yellow belly I have left. Well, if the other girl uh, proves out. But uh, people still like freeways, so I still keep her around and put asphalt males to them to kind of see what happens. So great example of a yellow belly. So... I haven't checked her in a long time. She paired a few times, and she took last year off. Hopefully this will be the year I'll get female freeways or female entry freeways, because I can't seem to hit females. And those are some big-ass follicles. Right off the rip, right there. Let's go back. Grease. Nice. So... Looks like she's probably gonna go, and I'm glad too, because I sold her fucking, I sold the male I was breeding. <laughs> the original inchy asphalt. I had no clue she was that. Yeah, she she's big as hell. I was like, I think last year when I did, she was five thousand, Chris, but she might be like just under four thousand now, cause um she just wasn't eating the way that she was, and cause she was eating like she was the only steak in my collection I was feeding medium soup for a long time, and then I went back down to smalls. She got, she, you know, she got a little bit more slender, but when she was about 5,000 grams, she was like super fat and slow and really didn't, and just super lazy. So, yellow belly girl, uh, all the way down here, 25 millimeters. So, uh, even though I don't have the dad anymore, I might just pair her one time. I have an uh, asphalt head lavender, so I might just stick her one time and see what happens. So, if I do get some freeways and sell them, that uh, people will get some freeways that's 50% uh, head laugh, and I'm fine with that. A little extra, little extra gene in there. So that's that one. And then, uh, this big ass bitch here. She was in violence already. Chill out. Chill out. I know. Be quiet. So. So. So for reference, this girl ovulated on August 30th. So this is not an ovulation. She's gravid as fuck. So. This is a pastel head clown I put to the red stripe yellow belly clown. She just big as hell for no reason. So there better be somebody's uh, 15 eggs in there. <laughs> You're right. Oh, gosh. Just hiss yourself. Hiss, hiss, and he hiss, hiss. Just be as big as um the other girl. I don't know. It's tough, heavy as shit. Hit these 
these lights. All right, that's most of the stuff I'm ultrasounding right now. Um, I got some other things that's in quarantine I'm going to look at later, but I don't want to move everything over to the quarantine room. And, and anytime I deal with my quarantine room, I try to use like almost completely different things and equipment and shit like that. So I will give you guys an update on clutch number 10, which I'm highly upset about. So... Clutch number 10 was a uh, clown pie to a VPI Xanthic. And I was trying to hit, uh, you know, just a bunch of triple hex from the whole back. But out of these seven babies, there's only one female. So your boy hit somebody's damn one point freaking six. Male. Male. Look at this shit. Male. Male. <laughs> this the girl right here. And my whole back male is in here somewhere. He's the one with the cool ringer. Male. And, yep, the very last one all dude so this guy right here is when i'm holding back so oh look i got these two right here to grow up in two years and possibly make vpi is anti clown pods that's some bullshit <laughs> so but everything in here these guys if anybody else is into the project and needs some males all these will be available after they shed and eat so that's that uh Grab those, uh, grab that second row down there, babies. No. Don't know if to the left, far left first, to the left. First one, yep. We do them at a time. One at a time. So this is early clutch from the year. This was my asphalt head lavender to my uh, pied. So all asphalt head pieds. This was the only male from the clutch and my favorite snake this year so far. Look at that thing, man. It looks almost like lace, right? So hopefully I can keep pushing these asphalts and I have a nice little long line of quality asphalt combos. No matter what uh, gene I put them in, whether they're lavender, pie, clown. I want to have some wicked flames or some crazy patterns on them. And the girl next to her. This is his sister, my second favorite one. Just his arms on the belly, just as dope. Oh, hush. Here you go. Get that back. And this is their other sister. This one is available. eating nice frumpy and fat rat pups there you go one more hurry 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 and another one see I hit some good odds with this clutch that's why this triple head clutch was shit <laughs> Look at the uh, the desert ghost stuff. Should we just skip the pod? So not go go to the next row. Yep, far left. Yep, this this bitch bit the shit out of me the other day. So this was a black pastel pie to a yellow belly head pod, and I hit the black pastel yellow belly pod. Hold back female. Yeah, take that.
Did that one shed yet? I almost like the head just as good as the visual. And you can tell in a minute why this one is a black pastel yellow belly instead of just a black pastel pie because you look at the sides, how it's broken up here. Got little freckles on the bottom and stuff. So a little kind of ringer. It's a black pastel yellow belly head pod. Ugh, just pooped on me. That's a girl. I mean the other one. Let me see questions. Scroll down on that in a second when I grab her to make sure there's no more questions. I think I scrolled up, so. Yep. Now if you look at this one. Nah, this is the yellow belly too. Yep. Look at that orange. All my black always throws crazy ringers no matter what I put them to. The other one. All right, now here's the difference. Now check out the sides on this one. This is just a black pastel head. The flames on is beat up on the sides as on the black pastel yellow belly. So he is crazy, man. I hit no normals out of this clutch. And this is a female. This one is sold. Thank you, Jerome. This is your girl. All right, that's some good stuff. Nope, second row. We can, we can do the second top row, yep. No, go down, right there. Yep. Let's see. And some Desert Ghost stuff. Pastel, Yellow Belly, Desert Ghost. Good looking girl, right? Hit that. That female is spoken for. And without the yellow belly, this is a pastel desert ghost. Just as nice. One of the few things I enjoy pastel in, to be honest with you. Here you go, take them. You can skip all of those, keep going. Go to the next row. Next row, next one, skip that one. All right, go ahead, grab that one. And this one is nice and dirty now. This is actually an ivory desert ghost. Pastel ivory desert ghost. I wish she, he wasn't so dirty and flopping around his raptor chip. Otherwise I get a better shot of them but you can see on my instagram there's a good picture of them up there too okay put them up that's it that's it that's it Hold that. all right that's it man i hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions about that brand of ultrasound and which one to get because there's a bunch of different options on there when you go to buy one off Amazon about the pros and things like that. Um, yeah, man, breeding season's in full swing. I got one, two, three, four, somewhere around 10 clutches to go, and I started pairing already for the 2022 season, so we got some cool stuff coming. If this is your first time on the channel, appreciate your support. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. That notification bell on the side, slap that bitch signal every time a new video pops up, all right? Till next time, peace.